here, um, we are the Israelites. We like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Why you don't like that? Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's what we teach in the name of. And we out here to proclaim the word of the Lord, okay, in its true entirety. And to also prophesy about the upcoming calamities that's about to befall this earth. Right? And we're getting real close. It may, it may be very slack or, or very gradual, but we're getting real close. And we're to the point of a, we're, we're to the point where we're, we're about to fall up, we're about to reach to a um, we're at the precipice at the end of this revival of ancient Rome. Alright? In other words, should I say the end of Esau's world? Or so that you understand the so-called white man's rulership. So that's what yeah. we, we are approaching the end of. Okay, and we're also approaching the beginning of, a, of um, our Lord and Savior and the beginning of the Israelites. So, uh, love you to interrupt you, brother. Keep going. What are you talking about, about this microchip? Oh, the microchip. Yeah. That's the mark of the beast. This, this, this is the, what you're talking about, Ole, huh? Right, well, we... we Very we, soon we're going to happen, brother. It's not about us. I, I don't want mm -hmm. I don't want to have that one in my body, believe me. Okay. I'd better rather die. Okay. Well, that's... Well, that's yeah, don't I, have I, that I, 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 inside I, me, brother. You know right, why? That's right. Because I, go, no, I don't have life anymore, bro. Mm -hmm. I won't gonna you don't have no life either, bro. Bro, <laughs> what you're talking about... Mm -hmm. I've been passing here. I'm not kidding. I've seen you here more than through me, brother, yeah, doing yeah. this. Okay. This is only first time I'm approaching because I know long time ago that this one brother would make a chip and yet yeah. it's going to turn through brother. Yep. Everything it's going to be mandated. Through, brother. Matter of fact, brother, give me Revelation 13. You believe in the Bible, right? Yes, brother, I do believe in the Bible. Oh, that's, that's beautiful you guys. So where are you from? Romania. Oh, Romania. He, yeah, he's one of us. Yeah, uh, what do you call them? The Mexicans of Europe. Yeah, basically, yeah. Bro, they're trying to control us, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. The new something. world order system. The new world order. That's what I want to talk with you about. Let me tell you mm -hmm. something. Back in the days, they couldn't control us, brother. Mm -hmm. Right now, they are able to control us. I understand that. So, oh, it's all right, brother. It's all right. You know why, yeah, brother? Yeah. How shall I explain, no, brother? No, the full understanding. Let's pretend this is the earth. Mm -hmm. We are the leaders. Mm -hmm. How you, as a leader, we can control ten thousand million people? I just right, give an right, example. Right, right. It's very hard. That's right. It's very hard. But, but, what are, what's not going to do? Let's take a seat on this table. This is the world, yeah? I, I pretend this is a cake. This world, I pretend this is a cake. I take the knife and slice it. This slice come to you. You order right. this slice. Right. This slice come to you. You have to order this slice. So basically, I slice it rather and give it to all of them. And right now, that's why they're able, one man to control 10 million people, brother. They slice us. Yeah, but you know what yeah. though, brother? I like that analogy. At this point, I like that this analogy. Brother, but you know what, brother? What we gonna have to do? We have to, we have to unite back to the, the heavenly Father. You know how many people there are? Sure, Only one sure percent. Okay. Hold, hold there. I want, I want you. I want you to speak one more. I just want to. I just want to read a couple of scriptures. Um, give me uh, what is it? Uh, give me um, Isaiah um, 30. You don't one, waste one, your time for no reason, scripture. brother. I was thinking you waste your time for no reason. I mean it. No, 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 I, I but what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, my man, is that... You're just that saying the truth, brother. We, have, we have to come together with the Lord. We have to, we have to repent because what's going to happen is, is those that don't repent, they're going to be destroyed. Two thirds of all people. So if we repent back to the Lord, or you repent back to the Lord, you'll be preserved from danger, from all of this matters. Matter of fact, I'll take you to drop that. Give me y'all uh, Isaiah 30, uh, what is it? This speaks about Jacob's trouble. I could be quoting it wrong. And the world was the, the third world. Yeah, we, we, we're we're going to bring it, brother. That's I'm right. telling you, us with our own hands, we're going to bring it. Well, the Lord is going to bring it. If, if, some, if someone think, oh, this is the end of the world, I'm telling you what means the end of the world. Human beings are going to create such a big world, many of them are going to die. That's and right. after, and after we're going right. to say, right. we don't want to raise a weapon anymore because look at them. Mm. But you say the same word at the second. Yeah, that's right. But that they say the same word, they throw everyone, they throw the weapons when they see how many people they die. That's the way he's talking about second and just And they say, I'm going to bring okay. anymore, but they, yet they have nearly know, one step. I want you to talk some more, but I want you to read this. Jeremiah. Yesterday, it? brother, yesterday, I was looking a Quran translation of Yeah, you can read that. Uh, this is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Yep. For that day is great, so that none is like it. Right. It is even the is even the time of Jacob's trouble. You know what that's talking about? That's talking about martial law being declared on the streets of the entire um, country. Mainly dealing with the main city though, which is London, England, which we're at. So what's going to happen is all, the, all these cops, and I always talk about this, all these different police officers, they're going to be transformed into military gear. 
okay? Yes, that's and then they go control the control the um the different highways. Like for example, you got your highways like the M5 highway. They're gonna have tanks that's gonna Brother. block the whole Brother, I'm entire um, I wish, I wish I could be able to warn all of those people, but even when I'm trying to tell to them, they might think I'm ill, brother, I'm not kidding. Right, I'm right, just right. a waste of mouth, brother. But you standing here. That's right, that's right. Well, you know, only a few, or only a few men are going to do this. Let me something, brother. Bring your question to the past in here. They might think you're ill, but the future should come out here, brother. I understand that. Oh, I'm very aware. Very aware. Uh, very, very aware. Of that. But guess what? Guess what? The reason why it's like that, I'm going to explain to you why it's like that, because the Lord only wants the elect to be sealed into salvation, but everybody else was born in vain. I told you that in this book. So, so what I'm going to have the brother do, you got a verse, right? Uh, Daniel 12 and 1. Yeah, yeah, read that. Read that. It's at Daniel 12 and 1. At that time shall Michael stand up, the great priest which standeth for the children of thy people, yeah. And there shall be a time of trouble uh -huh. such as never was since there was a nation right. even to that same time. Yeah. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, yeah. Yeah. everyone that shall be written. So although it's going to be bad times, it's going to like be such a hard like, time like it never been before. Right. Like, what you, like what you're saying, but guess what? There's going to be a few of us that's going to be the way. I heard the way it's telling you, brother. I'm a bad guy, I'm not guilty. That's right. That's right. Of me. That's what right. is the point to lie to you? I can lie to you, but I can't lie to you. I'm a bad guy. That's right. That's right. My hair is turning one because I know this is going to come for true. That's right. I can't cope with you. That's right, my man. That's right. That's right. You know, he's on point on what he's saying, you know. But the point is, is, is that in the midst of all of this hell that the Lord is going to bring on this city that we're, um, what is it, currently located at, the Lord is going to bring nothing but hell out here like you've never seen on, on before. So read that verse again. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, we stand there for the for the children of thy people, right. and there shall be a time of trouble right. such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Right. And at the time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right. So although we're going to enter into these severe bad times, but guess what? There's going to be a deliverance in the midst of all of that. You know that doesn't mean that we're going to be just be put to death and we're just, you know, we're just gone for good. We're going to be put to death for good. No, there's going to be a deliverance. The elect are not going to be touched by the evil times. All right? So, um, I tell you what, brother, get me sick in Ezra's the ninth chapter. Where it speaks about how the most few shall die in vain. It's like the Roman gentleman, you know, he came up and he said, well, do you know that all of these people, they look, they look at you like you're crazy. Well, we, we understand that and we expect that because, hey, if the people was to acknowledge that we had the truth and conform to it, that would then upset the prophecies. So everything is going accordingly to the will of the Father, as it states in other various scriptures. Who have ever resisted the will of the Father? So by these people, you know, walking past by and by, they're already set up in terms of their destination to destruction. Okay, you can't change that. Go on, brother. And what? Oh, uh, I think it's, it's uh, second entrance the ninth chapter where it speaks about uh, many, of, many are born in vain or something like that. Let me see. Maybe it could be eight. It could be the beginning of it. I tell you what, we are second entrance eight one. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell, that dwell in them. 
go to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, and, and that's the whole thing. The whole thing is, is that there's going to come a time where these elite bankers, okay, which has control of the police and forces, those that enforce the law, these um, individuals are going to be transformed into the military or the SWAT team, and they're going to run against those that oppose the new world order system real quickly. All right? And if you oppose the new world order like we do and many others do, then you're going to be taken out. The same thing that happened on, what is it, what, 2,000 years ago when the Romans besieged Jerusalem. What is it, what, uh, 65 to 70 AD, when the Romans besieged Jerusalem by great slaughter. Why? Because the Jews were given the Romans help. But that same scenario is going to happen all over again. You see that? Um, second issue is not in 22. Let the multitude of them that perish that was born in vain. So there was many people out here, which is what the Bible is saying, which is a, a sharp word, okay, or a strong, or, you know, an opposed saying against the, the multitude of the people. It says many that were born in vain. So like I would like to say again, if many people was to conform about what we were saying and be held of the word, then that would upset that prophecy. It's the multitude that's to go. The multitude especially of our people that have to go because they wicked is all hell. And they're not going and, and basically they have to pay for what they've done as well. And a pounce line. Whether it was putting putting the prophets to death or smacking the prophets upside the head or scoffing at the prophets back then. So that scenario, so the judgment of Jacob has to take place in these times. That's why it tells you about the time of Jacob's trouble. And guess what it says? He shall be saved out of it. Who is the he that will be saved out of it? He represents the elect that's going to be saved out of the turmoil. Where the police, they're going to infiltrate our people's neighborhoods. And if, and if anything, just gun them down. Take them to a concentration camp. That's why now there are G7 meeting going on right now in Berlin. The best believe they're talking about they, they, this, this is going to be part of the conversation, man. You know? But the brother in Chicago brought up about how, like in America, they say, hey, guys are coming to. Uh, and and that's just the whole thing and they've been they've been doing they've been wanting to do this for as long as I can remember well probably cry before me <laughs> you know they've been they've been planning this scenario to happen to go against the good seed that's where you have the term eugenics from the term eugenics is from the um, the, um, the name Eugene which the name Eugene means the good seed so what is the good seed? The good seed is the Israelites that are scattered abroad, that don't know who they are. That's the good seed. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and those that are scattered abroad as well. All right? And the elites, they know who, the, uh, who that good seed is, as I've explained, but they have the majority of the people to think otherwise. All right? Go on. But, the, but guess what? That plan is going. That plan is going to be inactivated, okay? Just about almost 100 percent. But they're not going to destroy the elect. They're going to destroy those that the Lord is going to have them be destroyed. This is great that you said that because uh, this is the, the prayer King David said. Go on. It's, uh, Psalms 58 and 1. Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Right. Yeah, in heart you, you work wickedness, you 
wear the violence of your heart, you wear, you wear the violence of your heart in the earth. The wicked, the wicked are estranged from the womb. Right, the wicked are estranged from the womb. Go on. They go astray as soon as they are born. Right. It lies. They go astray, uh, speaking things which are not true. Go on. That poison is like a poison of serpent. Uh -huh. They are the, they are like deaf adder that stop her ear. You go on. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Yeah. Break their teeth, or your hawa, in their mouth, break, break out the great teeth of the young lions, or your hawa. Right, because what's the power of the lion? The teeth. Okay. <laughs> Once you take the teeth away from the lion, that's the power. And those nails too, you take the nails, but especially the teeth, which the teeth does much more damage. So the Lord is going to take the power from Esau once Esau fulfills Zechariah, what is it, 13 and 8? That's right. Because you don't have a large amount of um, Israelites that don't know they're Israelites, really niggas. They're going to be totally messed up, put to death, and then basically um, that's going to be fulfilled. And then the Lord is going to have to intervene and preserve the prophets or the elect chosen holy men that are on this earth to save them. Alright, so read that again. We, um, I mean, we, we were you, um, we was following up after. Uh, break their teeth or your hawa in their mouth. Yeah. Break, break out the great teeth of the young lions. Right. Or your hawa. Uh -huh. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. Come on. When his arrows, uh, like, when he bend up his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as a cut in, in, in pieces. Right. And that's what's going to happen. When they, when they shoot those missiles, those ICBM nuclear missiles, which World War III is even closer than we even thought it was. It may seem like everything's going smooth. You know, after the drama that, ha that happened on prior, a couple of months ago, everything seems to be smoothed out. Okay, you don't really hear too much about no cyber attacks or terrorist attacks of that, of that sort. Okay, but guess what? We could be living at the calm before the storm. All right, so don't get it twisted, go on. That's why we still out here. Go on. Ah, that's nine. Before your paws can feel the thorns, it shall take them away as with the whirlwind, mm. both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he saves the vengeance. Right, it says the, um, the righteous shall rejoice when they see the, um, the vengeance. It's a lot of Read that verse again. The righteous shall rejoice. I my, I my yeah, again. The righteous shall rejoice when he saves the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Right, and that's we're gonna be happy on that day. All right. It says that the righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. Okay. Going up against the wicked, and the main wicked person is the, you can read that in Malachi or what is it, the first chapter, and it tells you who the wicked is. Right? And the wicked is the, the people or the descendants of Esau. Which the descendants of Esau and Edom are the so-called white people today, as they call themselves. But we call them their biblical name by Esau. Alright? So that's what the Bible tells you about. And you also got the two-thirds of our own people that are known as the wicked. Because they want to follow the actual wicked ways. You understand? So by them following the ways of the actual wicked one, they're going to fall by him. Alright? And that's how it's going down. They want to trust in the system. They want to go in their military. Okay, thinking that somehow, some way, they're going to protect the people from the Lord. Because ultimately, they're going to try to get our people to rise up against the Lord in that day. That's why they call it the, uh, what is it, the war in heaven. All right? And you got a lot of these shakes out there. they in the military. And they think that they're going to fight it. They're going to uh, win the war against um, those Russians. And the, ally, and the allies of, of Russia, etc. But they're going to be blown to smithereens and they're going to go all the way back to the soil, which they came. So read that, read what you got. Read that again. About what the guys that go in the army. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It's Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them 
that go down to Egypt for help. Right, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Meaning, and it's not talking about actual Egypt. This Egypt is, is metaphorical. It's talking about this society today because this society is like an unto Egypt. No, no. All right. And how is it like an unto Egypt? Because this society does take on the customs of the ancient Egyptian gods. All right. And then also the children of Israel were on uh, serving hardcore slavery in ancient Egypt. And we were the children, we were those people. Okay. And the slavery under another dark race. All right. So this is Egypt all over again. Go on, go. Lord to them that go down to Egypt for help right. and stay on horses and trust in chariots because right. there are many. Right, and that's that's just the thing. So our people they're gonna be involved in this war and they're gonna trust in themselves because they you know they got they, they got their mates, they fight along with their mates, okay, with the different tanks by the multitude, okay, and, and war men surrounding them. So they think somehow, some way they're gonna win this war. Because and it's going to go back to the good old days, but that's not going to be the case. The Lord is going to destroy them and their whole entire army. The real army is going to infiltrate this earth. And the real army is the army of Yahweh Shah and the angels, man. That's the army we stand on. All right? Because of that technology that they have, man, they think that they cannot be put down. That's right. Um, you know, and just to add on to what I was saying as well, you know, um, the Apostle Kabbalah did a did a did a did a decent, did a nice video on that man because you had a guy by the name of um he was the prime minister of the early 80s but for a short period of time. Ronald Reagan his name was and he even stated at the conference yeah the president of right thanks for correcting me brother the president of the United States at the time in the 80s the early 80s Ronald Reagan he made a statement saying okay what if unknown beings came to visit us then we as human beings we'd have to put away our differences okay and try to fight those unknown forces i'm roughly paraphrasing so if ronald reagan was to say such a statement then that means he knows i mean he was saying it on tv in, in that way but what he's really saying to the insiders is that look we got to be prepared so when the lord comes we have to, we're going to battle the lord that's what they really saying okay because these higher up bankers they know about how the ufos are the angels of god they know this but they got you you, you people thinking that you know, the, the UFOs, the, the green men, etc. But those are the angels in the power of the law. All right? Go on, brother. And that's even prophesied to happen, that they're going to try to fight up against the Lord and they're going to lose the mission. Go on. And trust in chariots because they are many, mm. and in horsemen because they are very strong. Mm. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, right. never seek their...